Hey there, it's Tyler from Nelly Security, and in today's video, we're gonna take a closer look at our new access control line, the ZK Teco Atlas series. If you're looking to jump into access control for the very first time, or even if you're a seasoned AC pro, the ZK Teco Atlas series really is an incredible access control system with a ton of unique features. Now, if you're wondering what access control is and why you might need it, then you may want to pause this video and go check out our other video first called, Why Aren't You Installing Access Control? All right, now let's go ahead and jump into this review of the ZK Teco Atlas series. Now, there are many unique features that really set this system apart from the pack, but today we're going to talk about four main reasons why you should invest in these products. First, let's talk about flexible installation. Now, when it comes to installation, ZK Teco makes it as easy as possible for you with a couple of different connectivity options. These boards allow both power over Ethernet and Wi-Fi. We're pretty big fans of power over Ethernet, or PoE. This is the fastest and easiest way to get your security cameras all set up, and now it's the most efficient way to set up your access control systems too. Connect your controller to power and to your network with one ethernet connection. Simply run the ethernet cable to a PoE switch and you're good to go. No need to mess with multiple cords. Now, if you don't have a PoE switch, you can still power this board with a 12 volt DC connection. Now, if you take this route, but you still don't want to mess with multiple cords, that's no problem at all with ZK Teco's Wi-Fi connectivity. You can connect your access control panels to the network via Wi-Fi, but if you do this, be sure to keep your panel in a place where it will get consistently strong Wi-Fi signals. Reason number two, it comes with a built-in web interface. So with other access control systems, you may need to install some third-party software, which can be pretty bulky and expensive. ZK Teco Atlas series allows you to cut out the middleman. No more messing around with management software because these panels have a built-in web interface. You can log into your panel via the IP address just like you would a security camera or a recorder. From here, you can monitor your system in real time and configure everything. Reason number three is the companion mobile app. With the free mobile application available for both iPhone and Android, you can monitor your entire system and receive notifications straight from your cell phone. Lock and unlock doors with the push of a button and monitor your system in real time. And best of all, all of this is at a price that you can't beat. This system has just about every feature you could want out of an access control system for a relatively low price. There's no need to spend a bunch of money on a higher end system just to get a bunch of features that you're probably never going to use. Now that we've gone over the four reasons why you should take a look at the ZK Teco Atlas series, let's jump into these products a little bit more. We carry two different lines here at Nelly Security. We have the Atlas Proc series and the Atlas Bio series. Are you looking for a simple AC solution with basic card readers and push to exit buttons? Then you won't go wrong with the Atlas Proc series. This line has just about everything that you need to get started with access control. However, if you're looking for a more advanced security, if you're looking for a system that's a little bit more high tech, that can grant access through the analysis of fingerprints, then that's where the Bio series is gonna come into play. Both product lines come in a single door, a two door, or a four door panel and if you need more than four doors covered, that's not a problem since you can mix and match these to create a custom system of up to 84 doors. And now I'm gonna show you just what these panels can do. I'm gonna take this single door Atlas Prox controller and set up a small system in our tech room just to show you an example of how you might use these products. All right, we now have this ZK Teco Atlas series uh, controller board set up back here. And again, this is a single door panel, so we can only have one door connected to it at a time. Right now, it's connected to our tech room door. And now we can take a look at the wiring here, which is pretty simple, even if you've never wired an access control system before, uh, because it does come with this handy quick start guide that gives you step-by-step -step instructions for wiring everything, getting everything set up, First of all, you can see that we have this ethernet cable plugged in here for PoE. That means it's connected both to the network and to power with this one cable. Now, if we didn't have this plugged into a PoE switch, we would have to wire the power here to 12 volt DC. Here we have wired our ZK Teco proximity reader. And at the top, we have a maglock. Now, while the PoE does power up the board, 
we still need to provide separate power to our door locks. And finally, we have our push to exit button wired here. So now we have all the hardware in place, we have it all wired, but we're still not quite done. We need to go and configure everything in the built-in web application. From there, we can add users, we can set up locking schedules, and do a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the computer and show you everything that we can do straight from that web interface. All right, here we have the web-based interface. Once you log in, you'll see this main screen. And this dashboard has a live monitor with all these alerts so that at a quick glance, you can see everything that's going on with your system. Now here's our tech room door with all of the default settings. Let's set up some door mode schedules now. First, let's make a public door, which we could use for any doors our customers might use. These doors will leave unlocked Monday through Friday, eight to five. Next, I'll make a private door. Now only people with proximity cards or a pin will be able to access this door. We'll make it only accessible Monday through Friday between the hours of 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. Now we have our door ready to go. We just need to create some users so that we can grant them access. But before we do that, let's set up a few more parameters. User groups. This could really be anything you want it to be, but we're going to set up a few groups based on the departments here at Nelly Security. We'll start with three user groups, the tech team, the design team, and the warehouse team. With this, you can set up more advanced access control. For instance, let's say you have a room where you store money for your cash registers. For security and accountability reasons, maybe you only want this door to open if you have a security guard and a manager present. You can go into multi-user access and set up a process where a certain door will only be open if there's just one member from the security user group and one member from the manager user group. Just to demonstrate it here, I set up a multi-user access parameter called three departments, where you have to have one person from each department to gain access into an area. To apply this to our tech room door, we would go back to the door settings, go to multi-user access and select three departments. But that doesn't really make sense for this particular door, so we're not going to do that right now. All right, now let's create some user schedules. This is just like the door mode schedules, except that it grants or denies certain users access regardless of the current door mode. I'll set up three schedules here, boss, supervisor, and employee. The boss will have access to all doors 24-7, 365, even if the door mode is unaccessible. The employee, on the other hand, will have access only during business hours, Monday through Friday, so this really shouldn't interfere with the door mode schedule. Now the supervisor, like the employee, will only have access during business hours, but we'll give this guy 24-7 access on days that the boss is out of town using this special day that we set up earlier. All right, let's go set up a user. I'll just use myself as an example. I'll fill out some basic information here, and I'm part of the design team, so I will add my user profile to that user group. I'll give myself a code here based on my proximity card, and I'll give myself access to the tech room door on the employee user schedule. And that's it, we should be good to go. Now we've barely scratched the surface of everything that this ZK Techo Atlas controller board can do, but hopefully it gave you an idea of the possibilities available to you. Once you set up all your doors, create your users and your user groups, you really can completely configure this system to fit your unique needs and situation. Now that we have everything set up on the computer, everything should be good to go. So let's go ahead and test it out and see how it all works. All right, here is our tech room door that we have connected to the mag lock. Since this is on a private door schedule and it's in the middle of the workday, this door should be locked and only accessible with a pin or a card. And as you can see, it's totally locked shut. If I push this push to exit button here, it does let me open the door and walk outside. And once I shut that door, since it is on the regular schedule, it goes right back to being locked. But luckily I do have my proximity card here, so it just takes one swipe of the proximity card reader and I'm back in. It's really that simple. Now let's take a look at the live monitor from the computer screen as I scan that card. Notice how my name pops up and it tells you that access was granted. Now let me go back out there and use a card that isn't registered to a particular user. And as you can see from the live monitor and from the door being locked, I am not granted access. Now you can also come in here to events to see a more comprehensive breakdown of everything that has happened on your system. You can filter by event type or use the search functions here if you're looking for someone specific. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can also access your access control system through your cell phone with the app called Atlas. Now you have to enable this from the web interface and scan a QR code to register your mobile device. But once you do that, you can manage your system directly from your phone. All I have to do is open up my phone, click door status, select my door, 
which in this case is the only door. Click that hand in the top right hand corner and this will allow me to override the system and grant momentary access. And I'm in. From your phone you can also view the live monitor, view existing users, edit their permissions, you can even call them straight from the app. You can also add new users here if you need to. Now that we've seen how this Atlas series works and just how great these access control systems really are, are you ready to start purchasing yours today? Well, in Nelly Security, we have a couple of different options for you. Now, both our Bio line and our Prox line do come in full kits, uh, either a single door, a two door, or a four door kit. These kits come with everything you need to get started. However, you can purchase just the individual panels themselves and piece together your system yourself. Now, here are a few of the products that we have in this ZK Teco line. Now, first we have a couple of different proximity readers here. Now, the only difference between these two is the size. These are Wiegand proximity readers. They are waterproof. Uh, they have reverse polarity protection. And you can use these readers on either system, either the Prox line or the Bio line. Here is another style of proximity reader that we have. This is also Wiegand, uh, but this also doubles as a keypad. So someone can either swipe their card or enter their PIN number. Or if you want even more security at your door, you can set this up so that they have to swipe their card and enter their PIN number. Next up, we have this simple key fob that just hangs on your keychain. And this just acts like a normal proximity card and can be used with any of these ZK Teco readers. And finally, we have our fingerprint readers. Now these readers can only be used on the bio line. And the main difference between these two is this fingerprint reader is also a proximity card reader, whereas this only reads fingerprints. Well, that's about it for today's video. I hope it helped you see that the ZK Teco Atlas series really is the ideal access control system for many situations. To purchase yours today, head on over to www.nellysecurity.com. And if you have any questions at all about these products, please don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. If this video was helpful for you, click the access control playlist below to see our other reviews and tutorials. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss another surveillance video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.